this is how i revive dry tangled hair and add moisture into it first step i make it wet just as dry as it is go and make it wet and i like to mix a few products to help me um put back moisture into it and then i'm gonna just braid it down so that it stays moisturized until i'm ready to style it again first if you haven't gotten into herbal essences uh, conditioners this is what i like to use a lot in the next videos you will see me using uh, different types of herbal essence conditioners to do this so i start with this i just pour this in an empty bottle a little bit and i add my hundred percent uh, plant glycerin and I add in this mixture I added um, extra virgin olive oil sometimes I will use avocado oil sometimes I will use grapeseed oil yeah but in this case today I'm using extra virgin olive oil so I used an empty water bottle and I put that in there just a little bit and I shook 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 it's gonna be a thick mixture so be sure to add some water into it so I start by patting my hair I will cut my hair it is wet but not dripping wet push that aside I'm gonna go into work in I'm there's no combing today we just adding in moisture and protecting the hair so I put just a little bit as I desire it's not so little whatever works and I just work it in and I use the stretching technique with the hand and that will like help the mixture spread onto the hair I keep doing that until the whole hair is is saturated and um, a little detangled as you can see it's already detangling itself and getting so if sometimes it doesn't get into the whatever the inside so I'm gonna add a little bit more I'm being very generous here I'm doing a braid because that that helps stretch my hair and keep it uh, from being tangled more because I believe that the next time I wash my hair it will be in these same braids if I do the twist and wash my hair in the twist it will tangle even more and um, when washing it in the shower it will come out forgive my crusty lips And I do the braids while still stretching like that to make sure there's not tangles that are locked in there. Looks like a lot of it. Oops, it's dripping. But I like to do, to put a lot so that I know that my hair is completely covered in this and it's going to stay moisturize for a long time so I'm gonna do this for the whole hair and um, that's it I'll come back now that I've taken care of the lips let's continue because this might take a while I'm going to like moisturize the whole hair and and have it held up so that the effects of this can start working so that it doesn't dry up at the time I'm getting to the end so let's do that You can see how the mixture revives the hair instantly and makes it moisturized.
like your brain power and like reduces the risk of uh, Alzheimer's disease. So I don't braid all the way to the end, I just twist it because braiding all the way to the end it's gonna give me too much work when I'm taking this off. So I just like twist the end and uh, leave it like that. So this is my tip on the easiest way to moisturize and protect your hair this is my easiest way on how to put back moisture into your hair and moisturize it and keep it moisturized and protected subscribe for more lazy natural tips bye I responded late? Where do you do <laughs> I'm a slow person. Welcome. Home. Lately you're coming late from school. Yeah, because now we're the second stop. Second stop? Yeah. Oh. Before you were the first stop? Yeah. Where is the first stop? It's this guy's house. Do we look at my teeth they're yellow? Ew! I need to stop drinking coffee. Coffee makes your teeth yellow, right? Yeah. Ew! <laughs> I actually need to stop.